There's this thing called 1202, 1202 stock and C Corps. What Tikja did was it just, it lit a fire under the 1202 world. If you haven't dealt with 1202 stock before, it's a wonderful, wonderful planning option. This is 1994, I'm doing a, I'm forming a corporation. We didn't have LLCs then. And I would do two things that I have to think through on my stock certificate, on my legend. One thing is I'd be saying, this is 1244 stock. 1244 stock was let's say, hey, by the way, uh, you know, normally you can't take flow through losses on a C Corp, but if you elect 1244 stock and it does go into a loss situation, okay, you can take ordinary losses for this C Corp. 1202 was the other thing I would put out there. This is 1202 stock. At the time, it was a 50% exclusion. And at that time, it was a great thing. If you form a C Corp, and you hold it for five years, your assets are under $50 million. When you sell, you get a 50% exclusion on your capital gain. And at the time, the cap gains rate was 28% in 1994. You could drop your capital gain on sale of a business to 14% using 1202 stock. That was huge in 1994. Then it increased to 75%, then it increased to 100%, but I bet a lot of you don't use 1202. It's a funny thing, okay, why? Because corporations sucked, right? They had a high tax rate. No one really wanted to have a 35% tax rate on their income. And then LLCs came out, so it's all flow through, flow through, flow through, and we're all working with S-Corps and, and LLCs. That's, that's just kind of the, the fact, right? So what Tikja did, it says, C-Corps are cool again because it's kind of a wash between the double tax and the flow through. What you don't know is that now we're at 100% exclusion, up to $10 million is the rule in 1202. But we take that structure and we layer in 1202 with Tikja, 21% tax rate is your fixed rate for the company, fine, you're holding the stock. This is in a situation where we know we're gonna sell the stock. This is going to be a stock sale. I sell, I can have 100% capital gain exclusion. Not deferral. This isn't a 1042 rollover of an ESOP. This is an exclusion. This is an incentive in the code to motivate you to invest in small businesses, trades or businesses, real businesses. And if you have clients, and I, I know you do, who are in those situations, they should have C-corporations.